Hi, welcome to the Lynn Lowdown. This is a community uh, produced television program uh, about the latest news and um, events with people in Lynn. Um, my name is Jonathan Sheets. I'm a professor of anatomy and physiology and I host this program um, as, a, as a father as well. I'm raising my children here in Lynn and the idea for this program came up um, to give our children a uh, sense of a deeper sense of who they were uh, growing up in Lynn as well as a deeper sense of their community and so um, we're inviting on the show um, different experts in child development um, including parents and educators and and other um, fields as well and today here with us uh, is a member of our extended family and uh, a parent as well Scarlett Reyes Hi. <laughs> so Scarlett, if you could tell us a little bit about and understanding where you're from and what you know about um, your family and... Um... Well, okay, so my family, I am Dominican and Filipino. My mother is Filipino, my father is Dominican. Uh, she was born in the Philippines and was raised there in Cebu. Her, her mother was Filipino and her father was Filipino and his parents were Chinese and Fil Spanish. Oh. My dad is from the Dominican Republic. He is one of 13 kids. His dad died at a young age, and he was left to raise them. Eventually, he moved to New York City, and both my parents met, and here I am. <laughs> and what brought you to Lynn? Uh, well, my dad actually lived in Lynn. So oh. as a child, I, I moved around a lot. My my parents divorced at an early age when I was four. Uh, he, I'm not really sure how that happened or why, but yeah, that happened. Uh, my mother moved to Las Vegas after my grandfather decided to move there. We lived there for three years, moved back to New York City, moved to Seattle, and then Texas, and back uh, to Lynn. Eventually uh, back, to Lynn. <laughs> back to Lynn. Uh. So Lynn was a new experience for me. I. Yeah, it was a new experience for me, and it's a really nice place. Yeah. Do, can you tell me um, something you remember about, you know, growing up with either your parents, any story that sticks out? Growing up, well, when I moved to Lynn, my my dad used to make me papaya smoothies. Papaya smoothies. Yes, that Typical was... Typical Lynn. Yeah, yes. I, I, I never had a papaya smoothie before then, but that's one of my fondest memories with my dad. Oh, neat. Now, um, in terms of the, what when we uh, speak with the child development experts and, and psychology and stuff, and one of the things they say about children's development, it's really important for them to f have a sense of self, like where the roots are. And, um, you know, in terms of that, food is a really important um, part of child development, both from a nutrition standpoint, but also culturally. And so, uh, do you have any strategies with your own children? Um, first, if you could explain, um, how, how many children you have, and, and their, their names, obviously, they're friends with um, our children as well. <laughs> yeah. So. so my daughter's name is Millie, my son's name is Mars. Millie is three years old, and Mars is 15 months. Uh, we have a lot of fun in the kitchen. We, in the mornings, we make a juice or a smoothie, depending on how we feel. The juice is usually celery, apples, and cucumbers, which is, is really, really good for their blood and gives them all the minerals and vitamins that they need and helps their joints, especially since they're growing all the time. Uh, the smoothies, usually our favorite is mango, spinach, and banana with with an orange. And oh, wow. it's like a tropical sunset, sunrise, yeah, and yeah, that's our favorite. Uh, they help me with both of those. They put the, the juicer machine has a little... Uh, compartment on the top and they place the cucumbers and everything inside and it's really fun they they even cut it up with they even cut up the vegetables with nylon knives oh so neat. it it so, so they have responsibility exactly it's a whole fun adventure in the morning that we try to do uh, other than that we we eat a lot of whole raw broccolis and carrots with hummus they love hummus Wow. Is this something very different from the food that you ate growing up? Or? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, my mom was a single mom, like I, I said uh -huh. earlier. 
Uh, so I would have, she would make a big pot of food and I would, I would eat what was in the refrigerator. I I'd see. have the rice and some type of chicken with chickpeas or beans and I'd, Filipino adobo dishes and I'd microwave it and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now your husband, uh, Brandon, is from uh, right here in Lynn or near Lynn, right? Yes, he his lives family. in Nahant. Okay, and his family is from? Nahant. And is this different from the food he ate growing up? Uh, I believe so. His parents believe in, or they love to have color on their plates. So uh -huh. they would have a protein like salmon or steak, have mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes, and then a green, which was either broccoli, mostly, bro usually broccoli. That's what I've been told. But it's, <laughs> it's really nice and colorful. So mm -hmm. it's a whole foods diet. Sort of like the what you think of a classic family, American family yes, type yes. diet. Yes, And then, you know, barbecue days, hot dogs, and hamburgers. Right, 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 yeah. And corn, corn, lots of corn. <laughs> <laughs> lots of corn. And do you, uh, do you find that when you eat out with other families um, that uh, there's a kind of a mix like that in Lynn in terms of the, the what people are bringing uh, from their, their own family backgrounds? Is it pretty different from the way they grew up? Like, are they eating new things from what their parents ate? Uh, I believe so. I believe that uh, there's a lot of diet trends and uh, lifestyle trends. When I say diet, I mean how we eat, uh, like paleo and veganism, uh, raw veganism, then w and then paleo, which is just a complete different side yeah. of the spectrum. Uh, but it's hard with Lynn to really narrow it down because there's pretty much everything here, right? Yes. Lynn, you've got, you've got Jamaican food, you've got Ethiopian food, Camo Cambodian food, Indian food, uh, Brazilians, lots of diff Dominicans. Again, there's so many different people. I, I do notice there's a lot of processed foods that people eat, but that's our country. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's everywhere. Well, um, so in terms of child development and, and the food, just to wrap up, um, if you were to talk in, in about your, I don't know, outlook on food and, and family and, and children, uh, could you in one or two sentences kind of give us your... My priorities? Yeah, your viewpoint. Uh, for my children, one was nutrition. Uh, the second, I, I really want my children to learn from all the experiences that they have, that it's important to, to be around all different types of people and, and learn from one another. It's, it's our experiences that create our lives, and it's, that's really important to me. Oh, that's really neat. And I think um, that wraps up our, our, what time we have, and um, thank you very much for coming on here um, and, and sharing your Thank your you. family's um, yeah, food um, stories, if you will. So that's all uh, for today. And um, next next time on here, we'll um, go on with other families and talk a little bit more about um, other aspects of child development. I'd like to thank uh, Scarlett for coming on and sharing her. Thank um, you. Mm -hmm. It was great to be here. <laughs>